New at 530, a modern day marvel turns 59 years old in April. When the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel first opened in 1964, it changed everything. With a look back and a peek ahead, here's Philip Townsend. It's easy just to sit back and enjoy the ride today, but crossing the Chesapeake Bay wasn't always this simple. You're looking at footage recently dug up from around 1955. This is the SS Pocahontas, a two steam engine ferry hauling people from Little Creek to the Eastern Shore. That was 10 years before our modern marvel. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel changed everything in 1964. Shore to shore, 17 miles of bridge and tunnel, now giving us a quick ride to the shore. Since its opening, more than 130 million vehicles have used it. The $450 million investment also made those once majestic ferries obsolete. Going back to the early 1930s to the mid-50s, a private corporation controlled those ferries. Each vessel would haul 50 to 60 cars at a time. It would take about an hour and a half to get you across to the shore. And that's with perfect conditions. And today the trip is getting even better. New construction on a second tunnel closer to the Virginia Beach side, that started in 2017. The project to bring two additional lanes for southbound traffic was supposed to be completed in 2022. But issues with the granite boulders originally used to build the structure pushed the project back five years. As it stands now, don't expect the new tunnel project to wrap up until 2027. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The new tunnel's cost is more than $750 million, which is being paid for by toll increases every five years.